So at a recent press conference, Donald Trump openly wondered why if everybody loves Dr. Fauci so much and Dr. Fauci is a part of his administration, then why is it that Dr. Fauci has a high approval rating, but Donald Trump does not? I mean, to care about this during a pandemic when 150,000 Americans have died is a little bit ridiculous. Like he is such a narcissist that everything is about him, including an unprecedented economic crisis and pandemic. But nonetheless, listen to him babble on about how he should also be loved, basically. That's the implication, just like we all love Dr. Fauci. Uh, in tweets that were deleted by Twitter, uh, you said that Dr. Fauci misled the country about hydroxychloroquine. How so? No, not at all. I think I don't even know what his stance is on it. I, I was just, you know, he was at the uh, he was at the task force meeting a little while ago. Uh, I have a very good relationship with Dr. Fauci. You know, it's sort of interesting. We've listened to Dr. Fauci. I haven't always agreed with him, and that's I think pretty standard. That's okay. Uh, he did not want us to ban our this this put up the ban to China when China was heavily infected, very badly. Wuhan. Uh, he didn't want to do that, and I did, and other things. And he told me I was right, and he told me I saved tens of thousands of lives, which was generous, but it's, uh, you know, I think it's fact. Then I banned, I did the ban on Europe. Uh, but I get along with him very well, and I agree with a lot of what he said. Uh, so, you know, it's interesting. Uh, he's got a very good approval rating, and I like that. I, it's good. Because remember, he's working for this administration. He's working with us, John. We We could have gotten other people. We could have gotten somebody else. It didn't have to be Dr. Fauci. He's working with our administration. And for the most part, we've done pretty much what he and others, Dr. Burks and others, who are terrific, recommended. And he's got this high approval rating. So why don't I have a high approval rating with respect and the administration with respect to the virus? We should have a very high, because what we've done in terms of uh, we're just reading off about the masks and the gowns and the ventilators and numbers that nobody's seen and the testing at 55 million tests we tested more than anybody in the world i have a graph that i'd love to show you I'm, perhaps you've seen it where we're up here and the rest of the world is down at a level that's a, just a tiny fraction of what we've done in terms of testing so it sort of is curious a man works for us with us very closely dr fauci and dr burks also highly thought of, and yet they're highly thought of, but nobody likes me. It can only be my personality. That's all. Go ahead. What if I told you, Trump, that this isn't about you and nobody cares about you or your feelings or your popularity and that this isn't Mean Girls and you're not actually Regina George? Nobody cares about you. And it's not like everyone loves Dr. Fauci. Like, my opinion of Dr. Fauci is that he is an infectious disease expert and he's fairly successful at trying to give us direction and what we should be doing like he's not a political figure so it's not about loving or hating anyone he's just trying to do his job whereas you are trying to stop him from doing his job and you and your goons in your administration are trying to undermine him at every single step of the way so maybe if you're confused as to why people love him but not you maybe if you stopped attacking him and not literally release an oppo dump on him in an attempt to discredit him because he might be saying things that make you look bad. Maybe not attacking the person that you know Americans love might actually help you become popular. But do you want to know what would actually make you be more popular? Is if you even tried to do a good job at handling this pandemic. The extent to which you have failed cannot be overstated. This is why people approve of him but not you. You're trying to force schools to reopen during a pandemic, and you're using this as a scheme to privatize public education, and you're not even lying about it. Like, you're openly trying to gut public education, and you're using this pandemic as the catalyst. Like, that's why we don't like you. You haven't taken this seriously since the beginning. You won't mandate masks. You've constantly been downplaying the severity of the virus, saying that it's not actually that we're seeing a spike in cases. We're just doing more tests. So that's why we're seeing more cases. It's not like it's spreading more rapidly or anything like that. We're just doing more tests. And on top of that, after you finally tweet out a picture of you wearing a mask, which embarrassingly, then your supporters, 58% of them, started to believe in masks. You retweet some weird quack doctor who literally believes in reptilians, who's saying, actually, this really isn't that severe. You don't need to wear masks, and hydroxychloroquine is a cure for COVID-19. I mean, 
This is why we absolutely can't fucking stand you. Because during a pandemic, we can't even get a semblance of competence from you. Nothing. On top of that, you're withdrawing from the World Health Organization in the middle of a fucking crisis. You're trying to muzzle the CDC because the data that they release may make you look bad. Uh, your Treasury Secretary is more concerned about people getting lazy and receiving too much government benefits, while an unprecedented eviction crisis is due within months. Americans are losing their jobs, their health care, and rather than trying to actually give us more health care, your administration is trying to take the one shitty health care policy that we have currently and you're trying to gut that we can't even have obamacare the shittiest thing imaginable right-wing neoliberal reform you're trying to gut that as well businesses are closing people are losing their purchasing power and you have no real plan to stop people from suffering both from a public health standpoint and from the standpoint of economic desperation and since this pandemic hit there's been 150,000 dead americans on your watch and what do you care about whether or not People perceive that you're doing a good job. Your approval rating, your election, statues, that's what you're focusing on. Maybe if you focused on COVID-19 and took it as seriously as you took vandalization of statues, maybe you'd have a higher approval rating. Maybe if there was any consistency at all, if you just like said something and kept saying it and it was a good thing, maybe Americans might like you more, right? If you said masks from the beginning are a good thing and you didn't, you know, change your tune on that and waver on it and kind of not support it, but you do support it, but you won't make it mandatory because freedom and liberty, but also you'll retweet some weird quack who believes that people literally have sex with demon spirits in their dreams and witches. I mean, that's why people hate you because Dr. Fauci, he's a serious person. You are not a serious person. You are out of your fucking league. You're a reality television show star. And because you wanted to write a book or launch a television network, you chose to run for president and Americans are stupid enough to be duped by your idiotic, dumbass campaign because you capitalized on the existing economic desperation and you used xenophobia and racism as a weapon to catapult yourself into a position of power and now we're all dealing with your career aspirations as a result of it now you're president and you're not stepping up we don't get any help from you not even a little bit we don't get economic support we don't even get the bare minimum when it comes to guidance and what we're supposed to do there's mixed messages from your campaign your supporters think it's a hoax and you're not doing anything to correct the record there i mean it's a complete fucking clusterfuck there's a reason why our country is worse off than other countries it's because you're the leader you specifically are a huge part of the problem so, I mean, that's why. I hope that that answers the question for you. If you're asking why you don't have a high approval rating, it's because you fucked up. You handled this like a child would handle it. In fact, I can't even say that because I think a child might do better. Because most people aren't as self-centered and narcissistic as you are, right? I mean, we all care about ourselves and our image and how people perceive us to an extent, of course. But you care about that more than everything else. Like it, take, it takes precedence over everything, including a pandemic. So rather than worrying about whether or not people approve of the job that you're doing, focus on the fucking job that you were elected to do and stop the goddamn pandemic and maybe people might like you more. But you are not going to do that because you view this as a lost cause and you know your own staffers reportedly said that they hope people just grow numb to COVID-19 and that's why for a while you were pretending like it's not a thing. So, I mean, this is why we absolutely can't fucking stand you because you're a tool, you're a dotard, and you're not cut out for this job or any job. I mean, you could have literally done nothing. You had enough money passed on to you by your daddy to just sit on your ass for the rest of your life, but because you crave attention, unlike anyone I've ever seen, you chose to get involved in politics, and as a result, we're all suffering. So that's why we hate you. Subscribe if you like this video, folks. Mike's tremendous, and he's doing a really, really good job. Many people are telling me about how wonderful the Humanist Report is. Bigly.